young lady in Fort Myers came to church and when she came to church they were from Hyderabad India and when they came in I asked her why did you come and she said I followed many gods my parents followed many gods we came to the United States and all we know is the gods of our faith she said literally there's hundreds even thousands of them gods she said I watched my mother burn hundred dollar bills but thinking that in burning them it turns them into spirit and that they go up into the heavens they offer a sacrifice to whatever God, whether it's Shiva, whether it's Brahma. She said, we worshiped them and we sacrificed to them and, and, and nothing good ever happened. My life just kept getting worse. I have problems in my life. And so I prayed to this God and I prayed to that God. And well, this is the God of this. I'll pray to that God and this one and that and so on and so forth. They kept praying to all the different pantheon of gods. And finally, she said, somebody told me about Jesus. I had never heard about this Jesus. So I said, what about Jesus? What, who is Jesus? And they said, oh, he's unlike any of the gods that you're sacrificing to. She said, well, how, how is he different from the gods I'm sacrificing to? They said, oh, honey, honey, you don't sacrifice yourself for him. He sacrifices himself for you. She said, I had to meet this God that came down here and sacrificed himself for me. She said, that's a God that I'm interested in. That's a God that can touch my life. And she got baptized in Jesus' name. And her husband got baptized in Jesus' name. And they got the Holy Ghost. And, and I'm here to tell you, it's time to be apostolic. And it's time to let them know who Jesus is. Hallelujah! And because of Hellenized corruption and apologetics that were not grounded in the Word of God, people got the idea that the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost were three guys. And you could talk about personas and persons and centers of consciousness and and all the different jargon that comes along with that. But, but inside of all of those trappings, people are trapped. They're locked up. And they need to know that there's one God. They need to know that. There are not three persons. There is one God. I mean, there's numerically one God. Tag a Hebrew, tag a Muslim, and tell them there's only one God. Number one, numero uno, the first and last, Alpha Omega. You know the drill, beginning and ending. Somebody start talking about the glory of that one God and watch what happens. Watch what breaks out. Watch what, watch what happens in this service when you start glorifying one God. I need some one God people to rise up in their, rise up in your most holy faith. Gird up the loins of your mind and say, this is who I am and this is who we are and this is what we've been called to do. He's in everything we do. He's in everything we do. Whatever you do in word or deed, do it all. In the name of Jesus. And see, everything that we do is tied to the fact that there's one God. Amen. This worship that's in here, this is one God worship. And apostolics always get in trouble. They always get in trouble over one God. Man, I, 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 I feel like I'm in the weird club. I, I, I feel odd. I go to my school and I'm the only one there that believes in one God and they make fun of me. And on my job, they make fun of me. And, and, and my family, they make fun of me. And they want to talk me out of it. They want to tell me I'm in a cult. They want to tell me I'm a weirdo. They want to tell me 
And, and people always get in trouble over the fact that there's one God because the devil hates the fact that there's one God. But I came to tell somebody it's the greatest commandment in that Bible. It's the greatest commandment in that Bible. Hallelujah. They asked Jesus, what is the greatest commandment? He said, the greatest commandment is this. Listen to me, young people. Get this down in your bones and down in your marrow. The greatest commandment is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And you will love him with all your heart, your mind, your soul, your strength. And you're going to love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments, do all the law and the prophets hang. Then you got to get this you gotta love this you have to embrace this and you have to confess this yeah. hallelujah and so I came to reassure an older generation we still know there's one God and I came to tell a younger generation you gotta you gotta breathe one God you gotta love one God there is only one God